Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back in, again with another movie review. <coughs> you have to excuse me. I got a little bit of this throat thing. I don't know what it is, but I've been coughing up mucus, and yeah, sorry. I really shouldn't have shared that with you, but that's why I sound the way I do, and it's just not fun, but I hardly ever get sick, and it's, it's on its way out, so I'm kicking it to the curb. <laughs> anyway. I recently saw Nomeo and Juliet. Yeah, I, I, I leave at 140, Dad. One, one four zero. I'm leaving at 140. No, don't do that, please. No, please don't do that. I'm doing a review. No, not really. Doesn't face. <laughs> You're not. I no, don't say that. That's not nice. Don't even think that way. That's not fair. Don't be morbid. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Anyway, I watched Romeo and Juliet a couple days ago, and I hadn't seen it in the cinema originally. <laughs> Could you please stop? Thank you. And um, <laughs> and he's, he's just like a kid sometimes. My dad. Um. Anyway, I I watched it, and I wasn't really sure if I would enjoy it or not because Romeo and Juliet's not one of my favorite Shakespearean plays, but it has a place in my heart, like all things of my past do. Um, I really thought that this was the best version other than West Side Story, which was actually more truthful, but, but this one had a happy ending. I won't tell you what happens, but it's very creatively done, and the way that they sling puns in this movie, it's really, really interesting and it's uh, very innovative. You've got the red gnomes versus the blue gnomes, and at first I thought immediately, Halo! <laughs> the um, the parody, if you know anything about that, red versus blue, well, it doesn't have anything to do with that, but I just had to throw that in there because I thought, you know, it would be funny if, if, they, if they actually did do that, that they haven't. Um, <laughs> this is I thought, I mean, my little geekoid mind, but, um, there are a lot of references to different characters and Shakespearean plays, and, um, it's really cleverly done, and it's very comedic, and, of course, I loved all the voice actors and actresses, and Elton John's music was fantastic and he wrote a song entirely for this film called Love Built This Garden which is actually a very sad song and it kind of made me tear up a little bit. Um, there was one reference in this film I, I thought was rather intriguing that I don't know if they should have left it in there or taken it out but they had um, a gnome and a mankini which if you've seen Borat you know where that's coming from and gosh my eyes no yeah. The goggles do nothing. But, um, <laughs> I really didn't think that was too terribly bad. I mean, it, if you didn't see the film, then you wouldn't have gotten the reference. But if, even if you're a young kid, it really wasn't that object, uh, objectionable. It wasn't, I mean, it, it wasn't bad at all. And it's more like a European film. You know, the nudity's not really that big of a deal. It's, you know, it's very lighthearted in the way it's done and uh, it was actually cute. I thought, oh, it's funny. It was funny. <laughs> it was very amusing in the way that they did it and I just, I didn't find it offensive whatsoever. I just thought, oh, that's amusing. That's, that's cute and it's innovative and different. But the story is um, basically you've got this feud that's been going on for years and um, <laughs> red versus blue, but Halo, sorry, I <laughs> just had to say it again, but, um, <laughs> I'm such a geek, but it, it's really a great film. I know that the, um, 
Filmmakers only gave it two stars there, but I actually think it deserves three because the animation is beautiful and the characters are great and it is a romantic story. Um, William Shakespeare is in it. He is himself and he's this wiseacre and I just love him. <laughs> then there's a part where a scene occurs and you see something happen from afar off and then you hear him say, told you. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that. Um, but it, it's just really quite well done and it's really cute and very enjoyable um, and it just teaches a lot of good messages I think just to be true to yourself and to um, I love he heals all wounds except with human beings <laughs> of course these two human beings that live next to each other they're always complaining and it takes place in one of my favorite places London and there's a lot of um, reference to that as well and I think that was really well done um, that's basically all I have to say about Romeo and Juliet other than I give it two thumbs way up and I think that anybody who's a fan of Elton John would absolutely adore it because it's really exceptional I mean the music is perfect and just everything was done in such a fan fantastic way I'd like to see more films done in this shape and form. It's just different, and I mean, the animation is really incredible. It's really <laughs> wonderful. It's just a light-hearted film, and uh, there are some moments that will make you kind of cry. And um, I recognized all the voices from the get-go, particularly that of one of my favorite voice actors, who is Jim Cummings, and he plays this really. Um, flamboyant flamingo who's very passionate and he actually has a very sad backstory. Uh, you, you learn about that when uh, they show the the montage and Love Built This Garden of course but he gets a happy ending which I was very pleased with. Uh, yay! <laughs> yeah that made me very pleased but it doesn't take a lot to really make me <laughs> grin like that. Um, it's pretty much um, all I can say about uh, Romeo and Juliet, and I'm I'm glad I saw it because it was just um, really quite a remarkable film, and it's actually going to be part of my um, my collection because I I just think it deserves a place, and um, it's a different telling of Romeo and Juliet story that I think that the best versions I've seen of it are that one. West Side Story, Sea Prince and Fire Child, of course uh, the Leo DiCaprio version, a lot of people are going to flame me probably for that, but I, I did think that that was probably the most accurate version I've seen, other than West Side Story. Um, the original uh, British version of Romeo and Juliet, um, and I can't really say there are, I can't th really think of any other versions that I really like, honestly. But uh, that's all I have to say about it. So if you're wanting to see a really good movie with your family for Valentine's, I think this would be the one. Or if, <laughs> if your girl or your guy happens to like cartoons as much as I do in animation, and the CGI is just breathtaking here. It's just everything that is done the, the ceramic actually looks like ceramic and this the, the flower gardens are oh my god they're just so pretty it's an English country garden and I, I really want to go to England that much worse because it's just so pretty uh, one of these days I will so then I can <laughs> stop and literally smell the roses <laughs>